How's it going guys? I'm Levi with JLG Reptiles. Welcome to part 5 of my How to Breed Ball Python series where I take you through everything you're going to need to know and everything you're actually going to need to be able to breed ball pythons. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and if you already have subscribed, then welcome back. Alright guys, so it's been about a month since our last update on this um, so as far as what we've spent money on the snakes have stayed the same two thousand thirty five dollars but that will probably be changing soon so uh, be looking out for a new video uh, hardware we spent ten dollars just on Clorox disinfecting wipes so that went from nine thirty five to nine forty five rats we spent two hundred and forty dollars on rats guys um, $200 was a shipment from Perfect Prey, which I actually did an unboxing video on. If you guys are interested in seeing that, you can go to my unboxing playlist and see Perfect Prey unboxing, um, Rodent Pro unboxing, all that. Uh, and then we spent $20 on live mice for the Leopard Lavender Albino. It will not accept frozen thawed yet. Um, we're working on her, so maybe soon that'll happen. And we bought two medium rats from Petco for $10 a piece. So guys, if you have the chance, definitely just order your rats online. So much cheaper. Uh, I'm pretty sure medium rat online is about $250. So you're paying four times that in a pet store. Plus you're using gas to get there. Um, but that brings our total from 3,190 to 3,660. Um, now we get to do the fun part, guys. We're going to see how much they've grown since our last video. Um, last video, Desert Ghost was at 394. The Ultra Male was at 761 grams. The Exanthic was at 648 and the leopard lavender albino was at 71 grams and that was before she had ever even eaten a meal for us so we'll see how much she's grown she's the one i'm most curious about but uh but yeah let's just jump right into that and i'll show you guys how i actually weigh my snakes okay so we're going to start weighing these snakes um we're going to start with the ultra male who a month ago was 761 grams so she was our biggest girl we're gonna go from her down the line to the smallest animal we have which is the leopard lavender albino so let's see how much the ultra male has grown in a month and we're gonna have to get a bigger bowl for these girls pretty soon for weigh-ins because this is a big snake for a small metal ball <clears throat> it'll work for now probably next video we'll have something different um, make sure we're on grams we're gonna try to just kind of get her to be comfortable in my hands here let's see here I just never want to sit in there something a little different. Nine fifteen. So she went from seven hundred and sixty one to nine hundred and fifteen grams. So that is awesome. Some nice growth. Her 
water back in there. Yes, we're definitely gonna have to get a bigger, bigger bowl for sure for these girls. So next is the Exanthic, and she was 648 grams last time we weighed her. Um, she's in shed also, so she's not the prettiest thing to look at, but also possibly a little ill. Let's see here. Grams. Trying to strike, is she? Okay, so she was six hundred and forty eight last time. This time she is eight hundred and ninety nine. Nice. That is awesome. Let her cruise back in here. If she will. Okay. So next up the desert ghost and she was 394 last time we weighed her so let's see i'll just move this over here tear it out again Five hundred and thirteen. So you went from three ninety four to five hundred and thirteen. She actually fits in this bowl like perfect. Good deal. Okay, guys. So the next snake is the one that I'm actually most excited about. Um, see how much she's grown. That is the leopard lavender albino. She's actually never hit the scales on one of our videos. Um, last month she was 71 grams, and the reason we knew that is because that's how much she was whenever the breeder, Justin Kabelka, sent her. So we, we hadn't fed her at that point, so we just went ahead and said she was 71 grams just to not mess with her, um, try to let her just relax and get used to her new settings. But she's definitely done that now, so. We'll see how much she's grown in a month. And she was 71 grams. So funny seeing her after holding, you know, a 900 gram animal. And you pull her out. But we'll see how much she weighs here. One hundred and fifteen grams. That is awesome. She went from seventy one to one fifteen. That is great. Get her on in here. All right, guys, that's the way in. All right, well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, if you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. But I guess the moral of this story is breed your own rats. Um, they're, they're so expensive and I feel like breeding rats would be a much cheaper way to go. And I'm hopefully gonna try and get something set up sometime, um, not in this room. I won't be able to do it here, but once once I finally get a a new room, um, that's that's going to be the route we go for sure. So I'll take you guys kind of along that journey with me as well. 
But yeah, guys, again, thank you so much for being here. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.